Hey there, Isabella Clark. It's Matthew. I'm Lewis's father. My lawyer informed me that you declined our offer to settle the matter outside of court. By the way, how's your daughter doing? Is she still unconscious? Yes, she is. Oh, I see. That's not good, is it? Have you been at the hospital this entire time? You haven't had a chance to go home and get some sleep yet? No, I haven't. Ah, so that's why you weren't able to make the right decision about the settlement. It's understandable since you're running on very little sleep. The right decision? Is there a specific reason you're texting me? I assume you didn't reach out just to check if I was getting enough sleep, right? Let's get straight to the point then. Well, that was indeed one aspect of it. <laughs> I wanted to have a direct conversation with you to see if I could persuade you to do what's right. It's just an unfortunate accident. Out of all the times for him to get involved in this, he chooses the exact moment when I'm swamped with work. An unlucky accident? Are you out of your mind? Your son ran over my daughter with his car. Evelyn is unconscious and fighting for her life right now. I don't think you're taking this seriously enough. Please, Mrs. Clark, let's try to remain calm. Getting angry won't assist your daughter in waking up from unconsciousness. Let's approach this situation as two rational adults and discuss how we can make things right. You see, my son Louis is not only the heir to my company, but also your daughter's fiancé. I really want to resolve this matter promptly and avoid going to court. Tell me how much it would take to settle this unfortunate incident and put it behind us. I'm willing to meet your wishes and find a fair resolution. You think money is going to heal my daughter's injuries? Not only that, there's no scenario where you don't pay me anyway, out of court or not. Stop pretending to be righteous. My son has had a lot of time to think about what he's done. Not like it was on purpose, though. Like I said, this is all just terribly unlucky. If word gets out and we go to court, my son's future would be ruined. You wouldn't want that, would you? That's much worse than what he did to your daughter. How dare you? My daughter might never wake up again because of what your son did. How can you be so insensitive? What are you talking about? Your daughter and my son come from different backgrounds. He's from an affluent circle, you know. As you already know, I happen to be the CEO of Horizon Industries. On the other hand, you're a single mother, and I can imagine life must be challenging for you. That's why I'm offering to cover all the medical expenses and provide additional compensation. Is there a particular reason why you would decline such an offer? Ugh. You go on and on about how rich you are, but you haven't once apologized for what your son did. I've never heard such arrogance in my life. Now I'm definitely not taking your money. I can't believe that I used to consider your son as my son-in-law. Is that so? I've met many crazy people in my life, but never anyone crazy enough to turn down a deal like this. Unfortunately, I'm going to take every measure I can to prevent my son from being seen as a criminal. I'll ask you one final time. Are you sure you don't want my money? You haven't apologized. And on top of that, you're pretending like your son hasn't done anything wrong. I'm not accepting a dime from you. Nothing is going to change my mind. I understand. That's fine with me. Do whatever you think you need to do. I'll be doing the same. I'll do whatever it takes to protect my son. I won't make such a generous offer to you again. Don't come crying to me asking for money if things don't turn out the way you want. I hope you don't regret your decision. <laughs> How can you be so cold? Do you even have a soul? My daughter is literally fighting for her life right now. You're a parent too. Can't you understand how I feel? Oh, don't try and pull that with me. You're wasting your time. I came to you with an extremely generous offer and you've turned it down. There's nothing more we need to discuss. Matthew, what do you think you're doing? The police just left my house. They were telling me all sorts of nonsense. They said Evelyn stole your son's car and caused the accident? Why would you say that? You need to explain yourself. I know you're behind this. You sure like to get excited. I'm not sure what you're implying. Oh, by the way, in case your daughter ever wakes up, make sure to inform her that she's already been given the boot from my company, lol. And as for my son? Well, naturally, he's gonna continue doing what he's doing gearing up to inherit the company from me someday. I'm glad justice was served. How is that right? Your son should be locked up in prison by now. Why would he be in prison? He's done nothing wrong. Your daughter, on the other hand, stole my poor boy's car and caused this whole thing. You must still be in shock from the accident, so you can't remember the details of what really happened. Maybe you should see a doctor for memory loss? 
Does Alzheimer's run in your family? Shut your mouth. Your arrogance is disgusting. No matter how much power you think you have, you can't distort the truth. There are medical reports that contradict what you're saying. Why would you lie about my daughter stealing your son's car? Don't you have a conscience? If you're willing to keep me quiet with money, I bet you tried to do the same thing to the police. I beg your pardon? Are you suggesting I used my tremendous wealth to make this whole thing disappear? What other reason would there be? No matter how you look at it, that's exactly what you're trying to do. LOL, Mrs. Clark, you certainly have a wild imagination. I think you've been watching too much TV. I definitely am quite wealthy. I don't think you could quite fathom the amount of wealth I have. But I'm still just an average citizen. I fully adhere to the laws of this country. That's a bit of a contradiction, don't you think? You're trying to distort the facts of the accident to protect your son from being held accountable. I don't appreciate being made out to be the villain. In fact, I believe if you spread such lies about me or my son, it's ground for slander. If you don't want to live an even more miserable life than you do already, I'd keep quiet. You should have just taken my offer. Unfortunately, that's off the table now. You're a sleazy piece of human garbage. My life isn't miserable whatsoever. Everything was fine until your son caused all of this. If anything, our lives are miserable ever since you and your son came into them. Like I said, I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect my son. I said I hoped you wouldn't regret your decision, but it seems like you are. This is all because you didn't take my extremely gracious offer. I think you need to ask yourself whose fault all of this is. I don't regret for a second not taking your money. I had no idea what the consequences of that would be. I'm not letting you get away with this. I'll do whatever it takes to protect my daughter. My daughter is the victim here, not your son. I won't believe anything otherwise. She could have died. What could a single mother like you possibly do to me? I'm loaded with cash, and we all know that there's nothing money can't buy. Yes, there is, you arrogant pig. You'll learn that soon enough. You're free to think whatever you like. <laughs> Go ahead, prove me wrong if you think you can. I've always heard about poor people being good at getting through adversity. Here's your chance. Good luck. You'll need it. I know you're behind this. What were you thinking? Delete that video. You can't just put a video of my son onto the internet without his permission. That's illegal. I'm gonna sue you. What do you mean? What video are you talking about? Don't play stupid. I saw the video you posted to Facebook. My son was in tears when he showed me. He said everyone at the workplace saw it. Did you think you'd get away with this? You're messing with the wrong person. Oh, do you mean the video of your son bragging that his daddy made the accident he caused go away because he's rich? Oh, I don't know anything about that. I wasn't the one who took that video. It seems like someone at his company did. My friend told me about the video, so I watched it. Your son is a real piece of work. Like father, like son, right? Huh. Your son is pretty famous around your company now. Or should I say infamous? I wouldn't be surprised if one of the people he's bullied in the past took that video to get back at him. What are you saying? My Lewis would never bully anyone. He's beloved by everyone at my company. Everyone holds him in high regard as the future CEO of the company. Is that right? I heard something much different than that. I heard that he tries to force himself on all the girls at the office and that he's constantly looking down on other people. He physically bullies other co-workers and make people do his tasks for him when he doesn't feel like going to work. I guess you don't know your son as well as you thought you did. Instead of trying to bribe me, maybe you should have spent more time getting to know your family. How dare you speak that way about my son? You don't know anything about him. He's ten times better than your poor existence. Hmm? Oh, I don't think I'm saying anything that isn't true. Think about it. When that video came out, did anyone come to your son's side? Was there anyone who was worried about him and tried to help him? Since it was someone at the same company as him, I'm sure if the other co-workers worked together, they'd be able to figure out who took that video. I mean, even if they find the person who took the video, they were smart enough not to show your son's face. So I don't think they'd be in any trouble. What are you trying to prove? 
My point is that there are things money can't buy. Right now, my daughter's friends have a petition going about the wrongful release of your son by the police. They're also trying to get to the bottom of what really happened. She has so many people who are coming to her side to defend her. Right now, that video of your son is going viral among the people at your company. It's only a matter of time before it gets shared enough to the whole wide world to see. You can't hide what you've done for much longer. If you were smart, you'd own up to what your son did and stop lying to the police. If you really care about your son as much as you say you do, you'd stop digging his grave by trying to get away with what he did. He's old enough to take responsibility for his actions. Are you an idiot? There's absolutely no way I'll change my story. I've already hired a very expensive lawyer who specializes in digital law. I'm going after all your daughter's friends who are responsible for the slander against my son. You're trying to crush my son's future. Don't you feel bad about that? My son, bless his kind heart, made a foolish move by getting involved with your daughter and even contemplating a future together. I did my best to dissuade him, but he went ahead and got engaged to your daughter anyway. This accident turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Lewis narrowly escaped a major disaster right there. It should be the other way around. My daughter is. A poor woman is never going to win against an elite like me. Get that thought out of your head. Is that so? Looks like I can't change your mind. If that's the case, I'm going to come at you full force. I never intended to do this, especially since you're the father of someone I once regarded as my son-in-law. But... Oh, do you have some trick up your sleeve? <laughs> no matter what you do, it'll be nothing more than a feeble attempt, like a mouse trying to bring down an elephant. There's absolutely nothing you can do to harm me. You'll find out soon enough. Hey, what did you do? I just got a call from my biggest client saying he won't be doing business with me moving forward. I know you're behind this. Oh, that was faster than I thought. Why don't you check Facebook? What? Why? Why did that congressman comment on the video? Are you paying all these people? No, I didn't. They're my friends. Your client, that politician, and many more. We all went to the same university. We even lived in the same dorms. We're still very close. You may be right about me not being able to do something as a single mother, but I have plenty of important people who care about me to help. Of course, I don't have nearly as much money as you claim to have, but I have something more valuable than money. I have people who truly care about me. You're a fool. Why would they help you? What would they have to gain from doing this? It's not about gaining anything. They wanted to help me and Evelyn in our time of need. I alone don't have any power, but the people I know do. As a businessman, you understand the value of connections, don't you? Shut your mouth. You live a completely pathetic existence. You're too stupid to realize none of this is going to change anything. The police already believe the story I told them. They believe that your daughter stole my Lewis's car and caused the accident. Do you think calling up your little politician friends is going to change anything? This is all just going to be a one minute segment on the nightly news. Then it'll blow over. Oh, don't think that's the only thing I have against you. I asked one of my other friends at the police department to reopen the investigation. You did? You little. How many friends do you have? Who are you? I'll talk to him myself. Tell me the name of the cop that you know. Oh, sorry. I can't do that. After he looked into the case, he told me that he's going to do an internal audit of all the officers assigned to the investigation. You know, all the ones you bribed. Unfortunately, you won't be able to bribe my friend or the detectives he's going to bring with him. You're going to pay for what you've done. This doesn't involve just you or your son anymore. You made a huge mistake bribing those police officers. That's a felony. Just hang on a second. Okay, fine. You win. Just put a stop to all of this. My son will take responsibility for what he's done. If he admits what he did, you'll make this all stop, right? It's not about what your son did anymore. I can't change the past and the crimes you've committed. I can't let this happen. What would happen to my company if I get thrown in jail? All of my employees would be left without jobs. It would all be your fault. That has absolutely nothing to do with me. This is a result of what you did. If you were worried about your employees, why would you commit a felony in the first place? Plus, I don't think if you got arrested, your company would go under. I'm sure if your son took over like you planned, 
everything would just be fine. Do you enjoy all the pain you're putting me and my family through? You're sadistic. You're foolish if you think you can get away with doing this to someone like me. Someone like you? Just because you have money doesn't make you a better person. You've looked down on me from the minute you started talking to me. From the very beginning. I said what I wanted from you. It wasn't money. It was an apology. Obviously, money can't buy empathy or common sense either. Okay, fine. Sorry. Is that what you wanted to hear? I apologize like you wanted. Now do what I say. The only way I'll believe that weak apology is if you back it up by taking responsibility for what you and your son did. I can't put into words how much stress you two have caused us. Between almost killing my daughter and committing felonies to try and cover it up, I still pray every single day that my precious Evelyn will open her eyes again. You don't have any idea how I feel because you're a soulless monster. You haven't thought for a second what it would be like if you were in my shoes. Pain to cover up a crime doesn't count as showing someone you truly love and care about them. Shut your mouth. I'm far superior to you in every way possible. You have no right to try and preach to me. You think you're on the same level as me because you feel bad about your daughter? If anyone's arrogant, it's you. You're an insect, and I'm an alpha. Oh, I feel bad for you. You must lead a hollow life if you always try and assert your status on everyone else. You're not doing it to compensate for anything, are you? Being born into money or being wealthy definitely makes life easier. There's no denying you've attained financial success in your life. Your pockets are full, but your heart is empty. All I see is a sad, hollow man who uses money as a way to assign self-worth. Money rules everything. If you don't have it, you're dead. Plain and simple, I'll make you an offer one final time. How much is it going to take to make this all go away? I'll give you enough so you'll never have to work again. I don't want your money. As long as my daughter wakes up, I don't need anything else. I don't care if I have two cents to my name. As long as I can have my daughter back. You're an imbecile. The biggest I've ever met. You're poor and stupid. I'm surprised you've made it this far in life. I'm fine with that. I'd rather be poor and stupid than greedy and arrogant. Money won't do anything to help Evelyn open her eyes again. Keep your rotten money. I don't need anything else but my daughter. Afterward, both Matthew and Lewis found themselves under investigation for their crimes, leading to their eventual arrest. Their faces adorn news outlets everywhere, with headlines boldly proclaiming, CEO commits felony to cover son's crimes. It was a fitting description if you ask me. Finally, the truth was out in the open and I couldn't be happier. Most importantly, Evelyn was no longer viewed as a villain, but was rightfully recognized as the victim. It didn't take long for her to regain consciousness, and she is now receiving treatment for her injuries in the comfort of our home. As it turns out, the police weren't the only ones Matthew had bribed. Lewis, who was responsible for running over Evelyn, found himself behind bars. Unlike his father, Lewis carried a heavy burden of guilt and remorse. He sends my daughter's letters every month, expressing his apologies for his actions. My feelings towards him remain conflicted. However, a few days ago, Evelyn decided to visit Lewis in jail. As it unfolded, Evelyn discovered that Lewis had been unfaithful to her, and in a state of panic, Lewis inadvertently struck her with his car. The moment he saw her, he broke down in tears, expressing profound regret for what he had done. In response, Evelyn offered her forgiveness. When I asked her why she forgave him, she simply said, He's a product of his father's influence. I really believe he feels remorse for his actions. He's still young and foolish, but it seems he's learned his lesson. Her maturity and open-mindedness made me immensely proud. She certainly inherited those admirable qualities from her late father. It's remarkable how sometimes children become our greatest teachers. Evelyn taught me the value of letting go of grudges when someone exhibits genuine remorse. I recall Matthew's claim that money can buy anything. He was partially correct. Yes, a vast majority of worldly possessions can be acquired with wealth, but the most significant things in life remain unattainable through monetary means. My friend stood by my side, not for financial gain, and Evelyn's friend supported her out of genuine care and concern. Love, compassion, and true friendship. These invaluable treasures are beyond the reach of money. Fortunately for Matthew, his immense wealth is now being put to use to pay for the consequences of his actions.